Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. This video is all about how to graft hibiscus plant the most easiest way. Please trust me, I am going to discuss everything as simple way as possible, step by step and you would also see the final result in the same video. So let's start the procedure now. Here is one of my local hibiscus plant and on this I am going to graft a hybrid hibiscus and the color of the hybrid hibiscus is yellow. If I am not wrong, the variety on which I am going to graft is known as spider hibiscus. I have a big plant which is in ground. Alright, before starting anything, let's learn few very basic terms. The stem on which we are going to graft is known as rootstock. So in our case, the stem of the local hibiscus is the rootstock. Again, the stem of the desired variety is known as the cyan. In our case, the stem of the yellow hibiscus is the cyan. Next, let's do everything step by step. Step number one, please select the stems where radius of both stems is almost same. It's not absolutely mandatory, but it would be much better if we can do the same. In my case, I have selected this rootstock as its radius is almost same as the cyan. Second step, please select one year old branches and you can see that the color of the both rootstock and the cyan is brown. Again, always select healthy and disease free branches. Here I have two branches and one is not looking that great. Third step, we would also need to do everything at the right time and winter or early spring is the best time. That means whenever we do the grafting, the plant should not be in active growth stage and I did everything in March. The next step, make a cut in the middle of the rootstock. Also please make sure that you have sterilized all the cutting items and you can simply use hydrogen peroxide or even Dettol for that purpose. On fifth, we would need to make a V-cut on the cyan, but before that, measure it well. Next, make the V-cut like the way I am doing. My grafting knife is not sharp enough and that's why I am using a blade. Everything should be very smooth or else grafting is not going to be a success. On 6th, we can insert the cyan but before doing that, we need to make sure that the cambium layer of the cyan is touching the cambium layer of the rootstock. The green part just after the bark is the cambium layer. Next, insert the cyan very carefully. There should not be any gap in between the cyan and the rootstock or else grafting is not going to be a success one. That's why please try to do it as smoothly as you can. On seventh step, you would need to secure this area with grafting tap. If you don't have grafting tap, no need to worry and we can use just normal plastic. In fact, I am doing the same thing. Step number 8. We would need to use any transparent or plastic bag to cover the stem so that they are not going to dry out. I am also going to do another grafting on the second stem and let's hope that both are going to be the success. Next important thing is we would need to keep the plant only in bright area, not under direct sunlight. Alright, we are done with first part and it's time to see the result. But before doing that, there are two very important things to note. The first one is, we should remove all the new shoots just below the grafting part. In fact, I am also going to remove all the other branches from the plant so that the plant is going to focus its energy only on two rootstock. And on second, Please also remove all the leaves from the cyan and you should do that before you are going to graft it.
here we are able to see some positive result and I am glad to see this. From now onwards I am going to provide 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight. In the meantime I did another grafting in one of my other hibiscus plant and here we can see very very cute new leaves. Alright it's time to see a few updates and then the final result. So guys this is the final result and I am very glad to show you flowers and lots of buds on the cyan. Looking quite nice if you are agree with me. Unfortunately the second one did not make it. That's why it's really important to select only the healthy branches. Anyway after a few months I am going to do some more grafting on the other stems of my local hibiscus plant. Now finally you may be also asking why to graft when we can grow the hibiscus easily from cuttings. Well some hybrid variety doesn't root well in hot climate like us that is India. In that case we can get the desired variety and more flowers either by grafting or budding. For example here you can see lots of flowers on the grafted part but we are unable to see even a single bud on the other part of the plant. Final important thing, at this time we can also cut the plastic on two sides and you don't have to remove the plastic forcefully. But I am quite excited to see the joining and let's do it. As you can see they have joined nicely and so we can say the grafting is a success. So guys this is all about how to do hibiscus grafting the most easiest way and I hope after watching this you would be able to do everything at your home. If you have any questions at all please let me know and if you found this video useful I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching I truly appreciate it have a great time and enjoy.